What's on the menu in the bikini experiment kitchen? Well, tonight we are making acorn squash a la Betsy, which we coined after Scott's sister, who is happens to be named Betsy. And um, it's actually pretty simple. I started out by preheating the oven to 425. Then I took the acorn squash, sliced it in half, and scooped out the seeds. So I'm going to get ready to put it in the oven. All right, we'll check back with you in a little bit. Let's check in with the bikini experiment and see how she's doing. The squash is now ready to go into the oven. The oven is preheated to 425. And in the meantime, I took a little bit of coconut oil and I just rubbed it on the outside of the squash so that it wouldn't dry out while it was baking in the oven. And then I melted Kerrygold butter on top of the stove. And once the butter was melted, I just poured um, some into each, each piece of the squash. I would say it's probably about two tablespoons, so a tablespoon each. And then I took chopped garlic I usually buy the pre-chopped garlic, it saves a little time, it's a little easier, but you could also buy raw garlic and then just chop it up and it would be the same type of thing. So I took a little bit of this and I probably put about a half a teaspoon into each squash. And then I added some extra flavoring in the way of cayenne pepper or red pepper. Um, just a little bit goes a long way, so I'd say probably no more than maybe a little under an eighth of a teaspoon, it's very spicy. Um, and then I also added turmeric um, turmeric's amazing, and I probably added a little more to that, so probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I just added salt and pepper. I'll put on a little extra now, you can really just never have too much. So, there we have it. It's ready to go in the oven, and it'll be ready soon. Great. Where are we now, Bikini Experiment? Well, we're moving along pretty well. We should be ready to eat soon. The squash is baking in the oven has about 15 minutes left. So in the meantime, I've heated some coconut oil in a frying pan, and I'm going to saute some vegetables that I've chopped. Um, I have a half a zucchini and about a cup of grape tomatoes. Yeah. So you're just going to watch the veggies, you know, make sure that they don't get overdone. Just take a spatula and kind of move them around a little bit. And once those are cooked, um, you're going to add in a quarter cup of cashews. I buy raw cashews from the bowl, from the bowl bins at Whole Foods, they're a little less expensive. Also too, you want to make sure not to cook the nuts because they oxidize and turn into a bad fat, so you wait until the end to add them in. Um, so we'll be ready shortly. Great, we'll check back in. Where are we now, the bikini experiment? Well, I'm going to chop up some cashews. And we use the organic raw ones. Uh, you really want to get your nuts uh, organic because they tend to have a high mold rate, uh, which can cause um, all sorts of health issues. Uh, molds can be uh, very insidious. But I'm just making a pass through it with my uh, knife skills here. And uh, we're just going to get a nice little fine chop going. You can always use, I prefer the bag smash me method, which is you just put some nuts in a uh, Ziploc bag and you just smash, smash them. But uh, this seems to be the official bikini way. And I must comply with the bikini rule. That's true. No deviations. Just kidding. All right, so what's the next step going to be? We're going to take our chopped up cashews and we're going to mix them into our chutney. Okay. Okay. Now, because they're an unsalted cashew, um, you'll probably, yeah, we need a few, just a few more. You're probably going to want to add a little extra salt. Uh, we definitely prefer the pink Himalayan salt, as I call it, monk salt. And with our fancy dancy cracker, it just becomes even more fun than anything to add it. Thank you, Mom. And so then we're going to take our chutney, and we're just going to scoop it out. Load it up. What's, what's interesting about this squash uh, is that it's a savory squash. And usually when you see acorn squash, it's, um, it's done as a sweet squash, 
which is really nice, but it's, it's a better complement for things like seafood. Um, and uh, even with beef, if you're going to go with a, um, a savory squash, which is what we're doing tonight. So, uh, that's it for the bikini experiment. Uh, we have our beautiful squash, and uh, our host will be back in a moment. And we'll tell her it's here. Hi, bikini experiment. Are we done? Yes, we are done. The squash is ready. We're ready to sit down and eat. I just wanted to say thank you again to Betsy for an awesome recipe. It's a really fun twist on making squash. And thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the recipe if you decide to recreate it at home. Well done.